And so basically, Jim Riley, Joe Zillick, Harry Race, Bernard the Chance, DJ Dave, Pretty Duke and One, Jim Hall, Bill Duvall, Ellery's, Charles T. Ellery, Robo Knight, Rapist Robo Knight, 1961, Oyster Cracker Man, and uh, you know, Doug King, uh, Trevor Rieger, uh, Tom Sorsen, and your group there. You know, DJ Dave Balamora, and Imperator Joe Squidwell. So I'm going to say, okay, Little Italy, military. Okay, quote. So we kind of know it's military already. So for one, Charles D. Ellery, Italy man. They try to give the group of you Christian. You guys can't handle it. They try to give you guys Judah. You always can't handle it. Then they also give you guys atheism. You all really can't handle it. So either way, Joe, Harry, Bernard, Robo Knight. The ones who are dysfunctional is the group of you cowboy hillbillies and the LGBT and you guys' hack and what you guys do, and you guys are trying to tell the military this, that, they do it, you know, Robo Knight can do whatever, supposedly whatever he wants, supposedly he always owned it, and then we got the Intilla Man, or the 61 Oyster Cracker Man sitting there impersonating people, and the LGBT does the same thing, and, you know, the hillbillies come in and join your little faction, Joe or Harry, or, you know, you guys are running around state to state, changing things, modifying. Point is, you guys can't handle the techno music when they give it to you. You guys can't handle it even if it's religious or science, they give it to you. Basically, the group of you don't want to listen to the entity that probably knows what they're doing from the very beginning, Harry. And all because you guys seem to think it was fun to cut people open and hide and cover up and do all that stuff. Because, like I said, Harry, you guys like going to go back to your pornography style, and so David can run around and do whatever he wants, or cowboy and Indian. Basically, Joe, it does everything that you guys wanted, but not any of the people that you know knew what they were doing or actually worked for it. So you guys got to override it. See, Mr. Robo Knight or Harry or Joe to cut off the head, whispering faggot, the nasty shit you did, Joe. So, Joe, if you do that nasty stuff to a girl, because I've never done that, but those of you who did, right? And dismantled and pulled pieces apart, like I said, picked David. They took your dumb shit leader, your faggotoid leader, and put his head in there. And like I said, you guys are all proud of it. LGBT is all proud of it showing off now. And you know, um, Hick Hillbilly Julie there who overrided PT Cruiser Julie. You guys all can be proud together of shit stink victory of your force in on everybody else. And like I said, you know, the smart ones will like make new fire exits and stuff around you all because they've already prepared for it anyway. Then you guys can sit and pout about how you supposedly won. And Joe, you can worship Joe and Dave and whatever. And you guys are basically hippies or whatever, Dave. It never really changed. You guys just make up a story and steal the bid for Ellery. Just it's the same shit with you, David, because it never belonged to you. And that's what you guys get, because you guys run the same stalker attitude to cover up what you originally did for faggot Joe and Ellery. It's not my problem, dudes. It's your sickos. <laughs> Robo Knight. And nobody wants to hear a fag voice other than your fags. Your supporters, dude, which is gross, man. And watch you repeat this same process of being wrong. I, I, I don't care if you're building it all up for me, Joe. I don't want it. Because it's, it's, it's another way of you control. Hand me down. Oh, that doesn't work. See, I'm tired, Joe. I'm tired of your lies. Because I know there was something better until you guys came along and started jacking stuff for, you know. We're, we're just cowards. We're cowards. And we, you know. The ones who are cowards are the ones, you know, had to take his abuse, you know, and then spoke up about it. But, you know, Al Madness and all that. So put your faction and your regime together, Joe. It failed before. It'll fail again because you guys expect it to just build it automatically for you. See, I know why you guys got so many clones running around like Red Randy, you know, the Intilla Man and all that. It's because you guys like to use it to steal stuff and lie and create the problem, Joe. You're just so proud of what you did. The little small fry and your terrorist attack stealing the rainbow, you know. Supposedly you did it for the good of the planet and the man, but it was just you guys a self-deluded fantasy.